Welcome, my friends. You're listening to the Voice of the Eternal Gospel, a program brought to you by the Eternal Gospel Ministry, founded in 1992 by Seventh-day Adventist believers. This is a Christian program dedicated to bring you the prophetic fulfillment, warning, and revelations of the end times, and to promote the advancement of Christ in your life. Welcome again, my friends, to the Voice of the Eternal Gospel. I'm Pastor Rafael Perez, inviting you to pray with us. Let's pray. Father in heaven, we plead for your help at this time. Send your Holy Spirit to be our teacher, to not only for us, but for everyone listening. Mm -hmm. Time is short, and we need your help at this time to multiply the truth and to spread it abroad to every nation, kindred, tongue, and people. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Okay, in the last program, uh, I'm always sorry. I, I have to be cutting you off. And uh, I just want to uh, tell our audience, it's not because we want it, it's because, you know, our time is so time limited, limited. Yes, over yes, here yes, of course. And, and on the air. But there's so much that we want to, you know, share with you because the time is at hand. Yes. And there's so much to cover, not only literally in the program, but in this earth history. I don't know if you have been, I'm sure you've been take, you have been taking notice, and I want to uh, bring this uh, message also to our viewer. Uh, I hope that you are taking notice of all the things happening around us, not only in this great nation in America, but around the world. We hear more calamities all the time. We, we hear much of violence and rumors of violence. We hear uh, a chaos and rumors of chaos by nature, by created by men. And today we hear it's about, unbelievable. Today we're hearing about things like transgender, same-sex marriage, right. and things of that nature as well. We hear things that we never heard before. And all these things is bringing us or should reminding us of the date of Sodom and Gomorrah. Right, and also showing us that the signs are showing that the coming of Christ is at hand. Right, and there is no doubt that that prophecy that we have been sharing with you before Pastor Berry take us to Revelation chapter 3 again, but remember, all of this is should be reminding us that Jesus' coming will be taken, uh, will be as a thief of the night. For those who have not been taking notice of all these things that are happening. You mentioned in previous program that the signs even in churches are seen. The apathy, the confusion, the, 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 all the winds of doctrines. Uh, and the worldliness is uh, coming to me. Everything. Churches. Right. churches has been converted, sadly to say, into social club or religious club. Hmm. You know, mm -hmm. social religious club, prosperity gospel, you know, just talking about the things of this earth. Now, when you say prosperity, remember this. We know, we, we're not saying that God doesn't promise no. prosperity because no. we know that. Yeah. God said, if you keep my commandments, I bless you, I bless you in the Amen. field, I bless you in the city. Amen. God's talking about giving us prosperity, mm -hmm. but not the way some of them advocate it. All right. right. And, and our first duty should be like Jesus says in Matthew 8, 33, I believe it is, mm -hmm. seek First, first, the kingdom of God and all his righteousness. Yeah. Matthew 6, 33. Right. Yeah. Say first, the kingdom of God and all his righteousness. And right. all these things should be added unto you. Right, right. Our first and foremost issue is to develop the character of Christ. Amen. Amen. That we might be, because character is dealing with our redemption and our salvation. Yeah. And salvation was dealing with the salvaging of man to mm -hmm. bring man, to restore man back. And restoring is dealing with his redeeming, God redeeming man and restoring him back into the image of his maker, mentally, physically, and spiritually. Amen. Amen. So that, that, that was Matthew 6, 33. Yes, mm -hmm. about yes. seeking first the righteousness of Christ. That's right. Okay. I just want to bring up this one thing because when Patrick said we got to keep our garments, mm -hmm. what garments were we talking about? We said they were the garments of Christ's righteousness. Mm -hmm. And we said that, but I want to also show it again that we can prove it from the Bible. Go with me to Revelation chapter 3, and let's look here at verse 18 right quick. I counsel thee to buy me gold, trying to fire. What are you to buy from Jesus? He said, buy gold, right? Gold. gold right. What is this gold? Watch for a moment. Go with me for a Bible. Go with me in your Bibles for a moment to um, 
go with me to Revelation, I mean, uh, 1 Peter 1.7. 1 Peter 1.7. Let's see what gold is really connected to. First that the Peter. trial of your faith, being much more precious than of gold that perisheth, though it be tried with fire. Hmm. The trial of our faith. No, it's the trial of your what? Your faith. faith. So faith hmm. is connected to gold. Isn't hmm. that right? Yeah, yeah. So where does faith come from? Romans 10, 17. Romans yep. 10, 17. Let's connect that now. Faith right. cometh by hearing, and hearing by the word of God. So wait a minute. I counsel you to buy me gold. Your gold is faith. I counsel you to buy me faith. But your faith is in the word of God mm. will be tried by fire. Mm. What is this fire that you faith going to be tried in? Go me to 1 Peter 4.12. 4, 1 Peter 4.12. Okay. Beloved. Okay, go ahead. Think it not strange concerning the fiery trial, which is to try you as though some strange thing happened to you. Okay, but read, next, read verse 13, go with it. But rejoice inasmuch as ye are partakers of Christ's sufferings. Mm that when his glory shall be revealed, ye may be glad also with exceeding joy. Now notice that faith, your faith will be tried by fiery trials and you rejoice in, in Christ's what? Sufferings. Mm -hmm. If you're suffering with him. If we suffer, we will reign with him. Mm -hmm. The Bible says all who live godly in Christ Jesus shall suffer persecution. And now, now that verse that you just read, mm -hmm. 2 Timothy 3, 3 12 and 13. And, and, well, 13, I want to come back. Mm -hmm. It says, look at this. But evil men and Seducer. seducers uh -huh. shall wax worse and worse. This, notice this. Deceiving and being deceived. deceived. Mm -hmm. So that, that means that they are being deceived. Mm -hmm. Okay? And that the leaders are being deceived. And because they are being deceived, they are deceiving many. That's right. So, so what should we do then? Because many people ask this question. So who I'm going to believe? To you, to my rabbi, to my priest, to my... You are, to, you are to believe the word of God. You have to go by yourself. All scripture is given by inspiration of God and is profitable for doctrine, That's for reproof, right. for correction, for instruction in righteousness. Amen. Amen. You have to go to you by yourself. Check if those and things to, that need, have been taught to you let, let, are so. Let's, let's be realistic. What you need to do when you say that, who should you believe? We cannot... We are not compelling you, nor can we force you to believe in what we're talking about. The only thing the Bible says in Isaiah 118, it says, come now, let us reason together. Mm. Though your sins be as scarlet, they should be white as snow. Though they be red like crimson, they should be as wool. God said, let us what? Reason together. Mm. Well, wait a minute. How did Paul talk to Felix? The Bible said he reasoned with him right. on righteousness and temperance, mm. right? right? But now where, where was Paul getting his reasoning from? The Bible says, and uh, Jesus said in John 5, 39, search the scriptures. Right. In other words, if these things not be so, you can, stop, you can prove it from the Bible. Search the scriptures, for in them you think you have eternal life. Right. And they are they which testify of me. And then in 2 Timothy 2, 15, while you're searching, he says, study to show thyself approved unto God, mm -hmm. not to men, mm -hmm. not, to, not, not to the school or you're going to, but to God. It says, a work many have not, it says, study show thyself approved. It says, a work many have not be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. Mm. And then remember, how did they study the Bible in the book of Acts? Mm. The Bible said in Acts 17, 11, these, talking about the people of Berea, mm. were more noble than those in Thessalonica, in that they received the word when already the mind and searched the scriptures daily, mm. whether these things were so. Mm. And the Bible says, if it's so, then the Bible says, hold fast to that which is good. Mm -hmm. So if the, if the seventh day Sabbath, for instance, is so, then the Bible said you are to hold fast to it. Amen. Mm -hmm. If it's not so, then you can let it go. Mm -hmm. But be sure you have searched the scriptures and rightly divided the word of truth. Because we are living in a time when the Bible said deception would wax worse and worse. Men mm -hmm. deceiving and being deceived. Right. All right. So it's important that we understand that you must search the scriptures. So how about if the question comes and say, well, I don't understand the Bible. That's why I go to my spiritual well, remember leader. one thing. You, if you said, I don't understand the Bible, when you talk about I, are you talking about the fact you're searching scriptures by yourself or are you talking about the fact you have asked God for the Holy Spirit? Mm. Because the Bible says if you search the scriptures with the help of the Holy Spirit, you, then the Bible says right. in John chapter 14, verse 26, but the Comforter, which is the Holy Ghost, mm. whom the Father will send in my name, he right. shall teach you all things. Mm. You don't understand? But the Bible said the Spirit of God is to be your teacher, right? Mm, he okay. shall teach you all things, bring all things to remembrance, and he will guide you into all truth. 
Right. The, 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 the problem I, that I see most, most of the time, instead of doing what you just said, that the Bible said, that the Bible said that we should do, that's what, the, that, that's what God says. Go and search for yourself. If you have a lack of wisdom, James says you can ask, and Jesus, God will give it to you. But most of the time what they do, because it's easier, they go to their minister. And what did they or to their religious leader? And what the Bible says, uh, those who, the one that leads you will deceive you. I think it's Isaiah, right? The book of Isaiah. It's about, you know, it's a big warning in there. The majority of the Jewish people perish because they depend on their religious leader. Yes. So, go ahead. Yeah, you have it? Peter says, okay. as newborn babes mm -hmm. desire the sincere milk of the word that ye may grow right. thereby. We, we shouldn't right. feel bad that if we are uh, young in the faith mm. that we're still learning. We don't know mu as much as anyone else. But Jesus mm. will, if we, if we are with Jesus, he's covering us all the way to the kingdom. Mm. And Isaiah says uh, in Isaiah 28, verse 9, whom shall he teach knowledge? Right. And whom shall he make to understand doctrine? Mm. Them that are weaned from the milk and drawn from the breast. For precept must be upon precept, precept upon precept, line upon line, line upon line. Here a little, there a little. Mm. So as we uh, study the Bible daily, in the morning, and at the end of the day, in the evening, God will bless us to grow like a tree, little by little, little by little. Here, uh, learning the scriptures daily mm -hmm. and growing s slowly. We don't see trees growing fast, mm -hmm. but we see some big trees, but they were growing little by little th through the years until Amen. they became big, big trees. So start your day with Jesus, mm -hmm. and he will help you to be a tree of righteousness. Amen. And you will be prepared for the second coming of Christ. Yes. The second coming of Christ will not be taken to you as a thief on the night. And let the Holy Spirit tell you where to search yes. and not just go by your lesson quarterly or what's prepared for you by others. Yeah, hold it right there. We'll be right back. Hi, friends. I'd like to introduce you to a special book that we have available. It's the story of Pastor Rafael Perez's journey from preparing to be a priest in the Roman Catholic Church and how God worked very providentially in his life to turn him from that decision to following Jesus in the light of present truth. If you've been blessed by the Eternal Gospels program, we want to invite you to receive our new book entitled From Babylon the Great to the Eternal Gospel. It is the personal testimony of our speaker and director, Rafael Perez. But more than this, if you want courage, if you want strength, this personal testimony of this 150-page book will give you insights into why God is calling men and women out of Babylon. And if you'd like to receive it today, just call the number at the bottom of your screen and ask for offer 777. That's offer 777. Why seven? Because the seventh day of the Sabbath. Why seven? Because the Sabbath was sanctified. Why seven? Because the final issues in this great controversy is between the Sabbath and Sunday. That is my journey. I hope and pray that you are going to order the book right now from Babylon the Great to the Eternal Gospel. May God bless you all. Welcome back. Welcome back. Brother Patrick, can you read Isaiah 316, please? That's the verse that I was trying to bring to you about that we have to be careful when we just go, instead of going to the Bible, going to our, our religious leader and asking for the spiritual things. Go ahead. For the leaders of this people cause them to err, and they that are led of them are destroyed. So this has been true throughout all the history of mankind. Those who have been leading, unfortunately, you can find time after time when a good leader came up in Israel, they, they took the Israel you know, into prosperity. But when a bad leader came in, it, went, it was uh, calamities, uh, 
Prosperity problem of the came game. only through obedience, not right. through disobedience. That, that's what I'm saying. Now Always. people, people are being, now the devil will also prosper you and give you prosperity while being in disobedience. And if you don't believe that, people who don't want to worship God or who sell their souls to the devil mm -hmm. and who have made a pact not to serve God at all, they prosper in the world. Right. Even David saw the wicked prospering and spreading right. out like a green bay tree. But destruction will that's come. Right. Destruction yeah. will come. Now the Bible and the also... the merchants of Babylon are prospering. That's right. So yeah, that's right. We're not, there are different ways that... With, there's, only, there's only one way God promises prosperity, mm -hmm. but there are different ways the devil gives prosperity <laughs> as long as the people are found in sin and disobedience. Right, right. Now, the Bible goes also and tells us in Jeremiah 17, 5, mm -hmm. Thus said the Lord, Cursed be the man that put his trust in man, and make a flesh his arm, whose heart departeth from the Lord. So the Bible shows very carefully that we, are, we have to be careful about putting our trust in leaders or mm -hmm. in men. Mm. But we must, first of all, put their trust in the word of God or, or, and the Lord. To Amen. trust the Lord is trusting his word. That's why we mm. said faith come by hearing, hearing by the what? Word, the word of, God. of God. So faith is represented by gold. Mm. But then it says, I counsel you to buy me gold. What is, what is this gold that you're supposed to buy that's connected to the faith and the word of God? What else does it say? Look at Jeremiah, look at Proverbs 23, 23. Mm. Proverbs 23, 23 says this gold is also this. Uh, buy the truth and sell it not. Also, wisdom, instruction, and understanding. Mm -hmm. So you're to buy truth, wisdom, instruction, and understanding. Well, where, where will I get wisdom from? Go to mm -hmm. Proverbs chapter 2, verse 6. Let's, let's, get, let's get that first. Hmm? Proverbs 2, verse 6? Uh-huh, Proverbs 2, verse 6. It says, it For the Lord giveth wisdom, out of his mouth cometh knowledge and understanding. So wisdom, knowledge, and understanding will come from where? From God's mouth, meaning from his word. Man should not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceedeth out the what? Mouth, mouth of, of God. God. But let's get one more thing. Where does instruction come from? Go back with me to 2 Timothy 3.16. Yeah. 2 Timothy 3.16, it says, All scripture is given cool. by inspiration of God and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness. So instruction in what? Righteousness. righteousness. So here we find that the, Jesus is telling you to buy gold. He's telling you to buy the truth, the word of God, because how do we know? John 17, 17 says, Sanctify them to thy truth, thy word is true. Mm -hmm. And that word contains in it wisdom, knowledge, understanding, and what? Instruction. Psalms 119, 151. Yeah. Say all the commandments are true. Yes, well, all that thou near Lord, all the mm -hmm. commandments are truth. Right. Buy the truth. Then John 14, 6, Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. Mm -hmm. Then we find John 17, 17 says, Sanctify them to thy truth, thy word is truth. Amen. And then in John 16, 13, he says, How be it when he, the spirit of truth, has come. So buying mm -hmm. the truth means you must make an exchange. You must be willing to give up all to buy the truth, Amen. to buy the field, to buy the treasure, the wow. pearl of great price, wow. which is Christ and his righteousness. Amen. Amen. So, okay, so we... we so we cover this from, so, so we find here that again it's righteous to Christ. But go to 1 Corinthians 1.30 to be sure that Christ is our righteousness. Let's see what the Bible says in 1 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 30. In 1 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 30, the Bible said, But of him are ye in Christ Jesus, who of God is made unto us wisdom, righteousness, sanctification, and redemption. Amen. It's a complete package. Right. So, a complete package. So buy, buy of gold tried in the fire. Mm. means to buy, of, buy, of, buy by faith Christ's righteousness. Mm. All right? And that you might have on what? Revelation 3.18 said that you might have on what? White raiment. What is the white raiment? Is the righteousness of Christ, the righteousness of the saints. Isn't that right? Mm. White raiment and that, the sh and, that, and that you might have ISAP. Now, what is ISAP talking about? So everything's coming through Jesus Christ. Everything's coming yeah, through yeah, Jesus yeah. Christ. That's right. But what is ISAP talking about? He's our, you might see? our great high priest. Yeah. Our great the only mediator between God and man. Okay, what was the question again? Well, what is Isaac talking about? Oh, uh, Revelation in Christ is that In Christ has hid all the treasures of wisdom and knowledge. Uh -huh. What did Jesus do with the man that, had, that, that was blind? Because the church of Laodicea is blind. What did Jesus do to the man that was blind? The Bible says he spat on the ground and made clay and told him to go wash. Hmm? Okay. Um, the Bible said the reason why you can't see is because you have, you, have, you have clay or dirt over your eyes. 
Mm. Remember, once they once the man went to the pool of Siloam and washed, he came back seen. Oh, okay. All right? And Jesus spat on the ground and made clay. Mm. And clay also refers to dirt or sand or man. If man's words and man's teachings are in your way, you are blind. If um, the worldliness and traditions of this world, yeah. customs as well. Go ahead. Uh, it says in 2 Corinthians 4, verse 4, mm -hmm. In whom the God of this world hath blinded the minds of them which believe not, lest the light of the glorious gospel of Christ, who is the image of God, should shine unto them. And so For men are being blinded by what? The world. They're blinded by the world, and they're being blinded to seeing the, the image of God, which is the character of God, if that's revealed from the gospel of Jesus Christ, which is connected with the plan of redemption. And that, that, uh, that uh, there's a verse, I, th I think, yeah, okay. It says, uh, we all with open face, beholding as in a glass the glory of the Lord, are changed into the same image from, from glory, glory to glory, glory even yeah. as by the Spirit of the Lord. Even by the Spirit of the Lord. But uh, so the anointing, what, what, how was Jesus anointed? The Bible said, anoint your eyes. So he, why was Jesus, how was Jesus anointed? He was anointed with the Holy Spirit. The Bible said in Acts 10.38, turn to Acts 10.38 to see what the Bible says. Yeah, but well, the Bible said, anoint thine eyes. So let's just take a look. How God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power who went about doing good and healing all that were oppressed of the devil, for God was with him. So be a, to, be a, to have your eyes anointed means the eyes of your understanding. Mm. Does That's the Bible in, mention eyes of in, your understanding anywhere? In, in Ephesians chapter 1. Listen carefully. It says uh, in verse 18, uh -huh, read the eyes of your understanding being enlightened, that ye may know what is the hope of his calling and what the riches of the glory of, the in, of his inheritance in the saints and what is the exceeding greatness of his power to usward, who believe according to the working of his mighty power. So, so your eyes here is not talking about your physical eyes. It's talking about the Spiritual. eyes of your understanding. Right. And your eyes of your understanding is anointed or enlightened by the, by the study of the word of God, by communion Amen. with God. Amen. Look what the Bible says. If you don't believe that, then think about this. So mm -hmm. the, the Ten Commandments would be Isaac. I, Isaac as well, right. Isn't that in Psalm 19? Or? The law of the Lord is perfect, converting the soul. The testament of the Lord is sure, making wise and simple. Uh, more to be desired than gold, more than much fine gold. Sweeter than also honey than a honeycomb. Then it talks about the idea that uh, the eyes, but it's that the eyes of your understanding, as you read out earlier. So eyes is with understanding and you're being anointed by the Holy Spirit to give you the understanding because the Spirit of God is our teacher and our guide. Mm -hmm. Okay. And God will not go contrary to the Word of God. Now, looking, looking at that, so now we go back to the Revelation, Revelation uh, 15, 16, 15. 15. And what does the Bible say in Revelation 16, 15? Okay. It says what? Behold. It says, Behold, I come as a thief. And what else? Blessed is he that watcheth. That watch and it, keep it his and keep, commandments, his keep his garments, garments or keep his character, uh, keep Christ-like character, basically. Right? Lest he walk naked and they see his shame. Now, what is shame talking about? Shame. Naked is, and shame. Yeah. Uh, that would be unclothed. Do, yeah, but how, but yeah, but how do you become, how do, how do you become naked? Well, we mentioned in previous program, Sin. Uh, when Adam and Eve, transgressed the commandment of God, they became naked. Uh, and, uh, you know, and, and so... But now, let's go a little closer. In the last days, okay, we're not in the Garden of Eden. So how, do, how are people made naked in the last days? Well, the principle must be the same. If we are going to be... If we are, unless we are covered with the righteousness... Remember that wedding garment that we were talking mm -hmm. in previous program? Mm -hmm. With the righteousness of Christ in... Uh, showing by God's grace through our life the, obe the obedience of His commandments will, will be those men and women that we found naked and will be shamed. Okay, okay. Let's, <laughs> let's, 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 let's look at the Bible. You're right. Hmm. Go to Genesis chapter 3. I want to hmm. show you something else here. Now, Genesis chapter 3, we have the issue naked there. And the word naked there means actually nudity. 
So mm -hmm. Adam and Eve were made naked because of sin, right? Yeah. right. So yeah. sin is one of the major causes of nakedness, right? Right. But now let's go a little bit closer. All right, let's go to Exodus 32, 25. Yeah, that's... Exodus 32, 25. At the golden calf of Right. right. It says when, it, when, when Aaron made this golden calf and Israel was worshiping it, mm -hmm. the Bible says, and when Moses saw that the people were, what? Naked. Naked. For Aaron had... Now listen, Aaron had made them naked <sighs> unto their shame. So wait a minute, the Bible says that there are preachers out there that can make the people naked to their shame. Wow. The Bible said there are teachers out there. They can be preachers. They can be so-called leaders. They can be administrators, whatever you want to call them, pastors, whatever. They can make the people naked to their shame. Yeah, which another word will be unrestrained. Yeah. Will be unrestrained. You know, they, they were transgressing, you know, in this there case, no, there, will, there will be no, no moral standard right, by which right, to go by. Right, right. It also means there, but now if you go there, uh, if you go, uh, now if you go again, so yeah. we find that... I, I'm sorry, we have to close. We okay. have to close. The time is up, I know. And I don't want to be... We, we want to be okay with the, our timing in television or radio, whatever it is. So today we have to remind you that, yes, let's seek the kingdom of God first. So we're, we're not going to be naked. And the kingdom of God brings the dress, the, the wedding garment. And by God's grace, we should be living as men and women getting ready for, to be translated with Jesus when he comes in the clouds of heaven. May he bless us all, Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Our Voice of the Eternal Gospel family thanks you for joining us. Generous contributors like you keep us broadcasting. Prayerfully consider supporting this ministry. Donations are tax deductible and can be sent to Voice of the Eternal Gospel, P.O. Box 15138, West Palm Beach, Florida, 33416. Our phone number is 1-866-7th-DAY-2. That's 1-866-784-3292. And our web address is voiceoftheeternalgospel.com. Paul and Jesus both predict that the Church of God becomes a force against God. The radical faith that Jesus taught had become the official religion of the empire that murdered him. The speed with which the early church tobogganed into apostasy will take your breath away.